Hello! So, uh, tonight was learning more about networking. Um, uh, what does it do so far? Sadly, nothing impressive so far. But um, here's this guy. Look at his. All games should be built like this, where they have the, the health meter, like right above your head, with in giant letters. It would be great. Um, anyways, so he's got a health of 100, and so is this other guy. They're both. One's a server, one's a client. Um, you can see at the top left. Um, yeah, so they both got 100 HP and a bomb count of 3. So we haven't quite gotten to doing damage or throwing bombs yet, but we got a lot of the backbone set in. So this is with the basic third person um, uh, freaking template thing. Um, yeah, and if you go to third person character, so there's the main event graph, right? And we added a bunch of um, variables um, like max health, health, bomb count, bo uh, max bombs. Um, the bomb count and also health are ones that need to be um, replicated everywhere and also notified when they change. So they'll notify the server and the server will in turn notify everybody else. So on the replication part right here it says rep notify. Huh. So, um, we first added initialize their attributes, which is on event begin play, and then we immediately have a switch authority, um, or switch has authority to check, you know, see, run this on the server, um, not on the client end. Um, and anyways, initialize attributes, and it'll do this for each character. And if we go inside here, it just has another check. Also, it's a bit redundant, but it does. Um, and it'll say... Uh, initialize the health and initialize the bombs and inside the initialize health it just says um, set uh, with notify the max health um, because these variables are set to rep notify that means that when they change the server will automatically be notified so it sets it to max health and that's about all there is to that and the server is notified um, same with init bombs um, so, whoops, uh, yeah, hopefully I didn't close anything. That in mind, um, we, what'd we go on to? Um, update char text. So, oh yeah, anytime, uh, these variables are changed, it will automatically do, 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 do. Um, we have a call for update char display text. Um, oh yeah, on so on the rep notify. So whenever those variables are changed, it automatically calls this on rep notify health and on rep bomb count. And when those happen, it says to automatically go and update the character display text, which is the characters floating above their head. And that's when we end up over here, and then we're setting the text to go over their head. And um, so for it's a c character text, um, which is the character, uh, the char text variable is the text that appears over their head, um, and it is built out of the health and put together with the bomb count and built into a string and then put in as a value, and that gets sent back to be put above their heads. Yeah. So, um, back into the event graph is the on take damage. And so, what this guy does is he first checks to see if, or first says, you know, let the server do this, and then change the health. And if the health changes, it'll automatically do the with notify, so it'll automatically change the thing above the person's head. And then, if they have less than or equal to zero health, you know, if they go down to zero, um, on this one we're just going to reset their health back to 100 so you can kill them, kill them, kill them once they hit zero they'll go back to 100 um, uh, this little has bombs one is used just to check if someone has bombs but anyways back to the main event graph <laughs> um, we have right mouse button and we do has bombs first check to see if they have any bombs and if they do then run this server attempt to spawn a bomb which is a slightly bigger, um, oh, which runs this right here, and this one only executes on the server. Um, attempt to spawn bomb. This is a big guy. 
Um, so first, uh, when we go to try to spawn a bomb, uh, do it on the server. Check to see if there are any bombs. If there are, then spawn a bomb. And we're doing a little bit of vector math here. Stuff you don't care about. Um, to figure out the location of the bomb. It's basically the forward vector times the d bomb distance and then plus the actor's location um, made into a transform and that's where it will spawn the bomb and then when we're done uh, subtract one from the total bomb count and then yeah so when we hit play um, if I right click it says yeah and you can see the actor's count going down down or now going into negatives um, he has negative 20 bombs that's a lot of not bombs um, so anyways yeah that is the logic behind it so far. Next time we'll actually make it so we can have bombs pop out there because we have to define the bomb class and what they look like and what they do and then have it also take damage away and then you have kind of a game and hooray. So there's a lot of complicated stuff for networking and I'm very new to it so it's a little slow goings. But I got through, uh, yeah, going through a tutorial and and taking all the notes that you need to take takes it it kind of quadruples the time of the tutorial um yeah so yes hope everybody had a had a shiny hump day and um if there's any tutorials anybody knows of that I should be doing please let me know and apart from that hope everybody has a shiny rest of the evening so peace and enjoy ah, later.